Hello there my hairless wonders and welcome back to Star Sector for a little bit more interstellar carnage. We're going to be heading straight into this black hole system over here uh, once I can get myself back on course because a little bit, uh, something a little bit insane has happened. There are four bounties within like uh, two light years of each other and that is some fuel efficient money make it let me tell you. That is some, <laughs> that is some cost effective murder. So we're going to be jumping in to this system right here and start hunting down the enemy. Now let's see where these people are perched. So we've got uh, Terry Pelletier over here, who is near a frozen world. And we have uh, Dolga Castillo, who's also near a frozen world. So are there multiple frozen worlds? Baron Bombarded, Crypto Volcanic, Frozen up there. So they must both just be around that same location. And there is a Ludic Path base here, which means that this bounty, 160,000. Whoa, that's really good. We, um... We might be able to make some real money out of that. I th Can I take on an orbital station with a Bastion segment? I don't know. That's going to be tough. But I can take on these idiots. And this actually, we can do two bounties at once here. I'm... Why are you... Oh, did you get hit by a stupid storm? You might have. I'm, I'm going to spend the story point to get them fully healed up. There we go. At least he's functional. And let's move into engage. AI thinks it can win this. I think it's wrong. Let's deploy everybody. Soon we won't have to deploy the mules. Uh, they will, uh, they are, like I said, they are frontline combat mules, but they won't have to be forever. All right, so what we need to do is prioritize what we're doing here. Uh, we need to specifically carefully designate targets. So my AA ships are going to take that thing out. You are on like 2% combat readiness. You just protect this, please. Just don't, don't get into any fights if you can help it. Uh, this wolf is again a PD ship, so I want you protecting... Why don't you look after this guy? And then you two... Don't go too far. I don't want you getting stuck off by yourself. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume you're gonna be smart about this and survive. But I guess we'll see. Alright, we are now in our brand new Eradicator class. Uh, Barbership 2 Cruiser. Barbership the second. Uh, the, 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 the second and I'm assuming a long, long line of many, many ships we're going to blow up and lose. Although we've been okay, you know, we, we haven't we haven't had too many major losses yet. You know, let's drop a missile at- Ah, oh, it was just too slow. We should have- I, I, I was- I was not paying attention. We should uh, should have dropped a missile at him a bit sooner. Ah, shit, and I've lost engines. I have lost engines. I saw the missiles coming in and I was too slow. Um, I think maybe I've got cheese brain. Oh, dude, did you see that timing? Okay, hold on. Uh, we're rotating. We're rotating. We're rotating. I'm waiting for the- I, I'm not doing this, by the way. My engines are just, uh, spiraling out of control. Oh, Jesus. My shields went down at the worst possible time. Let's fire a few missiles to keep their flux up so they can't just keep pummeling me. Okay, cool, cool. We're doing Oh, my God, with the engines again. Okay, just keep... We're drifting backwards this time, at least. This is survivable. This is survivable. Yeah, come on. Drift, drift in the way. Drift in the way. Oh, nice. Did you see that hit? Lovely. Lovely. Okay, bring the engines... This thing has to get insulated engine assembly if it doesn't yet. Because that will, that will prevent us just constantly being knocked out. Or we need to get some better PD on the back. Yeah, maybe that's the plan here. Okay, so what's, what, who's fighting who? Let's just get stuck. Yeah, you're about to kill whatever that is. You, God, you need to retreat. You are on literally one HP. Okay, you get the hell out of this map. You kill that with, with prejudice. Uh, this might actually kill you if it gets a Reaper in your butt. So be careful. Where are my AA ships? Oh, they're up here. And you killed that hound, but you have since been trapped. You know what? You're keeping you're keeping one of their phase ships busy. And I'm actually I'm willing to say that's good enough. Looks like we lost one of the other pilots though. Okay, how are you doing? You're okay. And just a testament to the eradicator. I mean, we were able to absorb like three or four harpoon missile strikes and didn't die. Uh, that's genuinely incredible. Uh, the crew's probably not very happy because they keep getting killed. And we do have the Commission Cruise mod installed, which means that, like, over time, your ship develops a reputation. Um, and it's so it is sometimes necessary to change crews because they, they sort of lose faith in you if you're bad at playing the game, like I am. Well, that kite shuttle is ripe for the smashing. I just don't want to overexpose by overextending because there, there are a lot of missiles in front of me. You know what? Let's, let's kill this thing. Activate the burn drive. Get me closer. Turn off the burn drive. Blast him. Nice! Okay, we knocked out half his health in one swoop there. And now, almost, that thing's almost dead. I'm gonna assume that that cataphract can deal with the rest of it. 
Okay, cool. Oh, we almost got hit by a, a, a missile there, but I managed to knock this dude out. Let's hit him with a few more of these. Oh, yeah, I missed one. Damn it. Just a bit to the side. Oh, and we did lose our Defender Drone. Ah, uh, the Defender Drone hasn't been very good. Maybe maybe that should just get sold at some point, because it just keeps getting killed. Or I suppose perhaps it just needs to have different uh, weapons attached to it. The point defense, maybe maybe the lasers aren't the way. And we did lose our another broadsword cruiser. Ah, shit! I was looking at the... Ah, okay, we're dead. We're dead. Yep, this ship's going down. Yep, that was on me. That was on me. I was watching the, uh, the readouts over here and not paying attention to the flux. Uh, proof... You know what? It's fine. The Eradicator had like 500 debuffs on it already. Uh, what's one more, right? What's one more? The, the crew, who just got blown up, probably isn't going to be very happy with that reasoning. But you know what? That's their problem, not mine. Okay, cool. We have successfully killed that. Come on, finish it off. Finish it off, you idiot. Yes! Excellent. Okay. Now, I want Focus Fire. Wipe that thing off the frickin' map. You need to come over here and kill this. Kill that Shepherd Drone Tender. You need to... Yeah, you just keep that frigate busy. That's what you're for. You two, I need you to smash that hound. And honestly, this thing can probably take on that mule and this phase frigate by itself. If, if I'm not at the helm, it's actually a pretty good ship. Oh my god, sorry about that, guys. I just noticed that my mic was peaking. I don't know what's going on. I, I, I stop a recording, I start a recording, and all my settings change in between. I, I don't know if this microphone is extremely bugged, if the drivers I've got are incorrect, or if Windows is just, you know, playing a, playing a, 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 a funny with my uh, my settings, but no matter what I do, they always wrong. <laughs> like, it's like almost every recording, I have to do a test recording, edit it, upload it, and then check if the sound is scuffed, which is obviously not feasible. Um, so I just, I do my best, okay? I do my best. I think, yeah, the next upgrade is definitely a better mouse. That is, uh, sorry, better microphone. We've already got the better mouse. Uh, this wolf's combat readiness is at 22% and dropping, so I'm going to retreat him. You know what? I think the lasher is about to, uh... Yeah, oh, okay, he needs to leave. He needs to just, just boot. Get out of here. Get out of here, bud. Just, just, just escape. Just escape, quickly, while you can. Please. Lasher. Oh, you idiot! Damn it, I was too slow. Ah, oh, okay, we've, uh, you know, double bounty, but we have lost a few ships here, mostly due to, uh, captain incompetence. Let's not, let's not put any of that on the AI. Let's not put that on the AI, I don't think. Oh, well, yeah, we have a drone ship that's trying to get away. Wonder if we could hunt him down. Omen, have you got any combat? Yeah, you got some, you got 46% CR left. I want you to go kill that. You get down here and kill this shrike. It's been thorn in my ass for a while. You two, kill that frigate. You, kill the wolf. You kill that. I'm gonna have to force them to fight because they are uh, they're, they're they're you know they're playing it safe because their combat readiness is dropping, so the AI is kind of programmed to uh, take a few paces back. But no, we need to kill them fast so that it doesn't ma we don't start getting malfunctions over time here. I don't think you can actually kill that shrike, can you? No, it actually might be beyond. Okay, you get in there, just get back up. I want I let's just consolidate let's consolidate our forces here, right? Come on, just kill it. It's got it's got like two HP, dude. Just get the hit. Get the hit. Thank you. There we go. Alright. We will not get bounties. Oh, sorry, we will get bounties for these, but we don't there's no system bounty here. So it's not like the other place where just killing the pirates gives you uh money. Uh, if we're commissioned by another faction, as in if another faction's paying us as a mercenary, we can get money just for killing stuff. But uh, right now that is not something we have going for us, unfortunately. And I'm thinking we want to swap out these Requiems at some point. I hadn't tried them out before. They seemed cool, but the lack of a shield, it really, yeah, it really does sort of slowly erode their ability to stay in combat. Okay, you need to retreat. Uh, you actually need to retreat because you're about to malfunction yourself into an early grave. It is astonishing to me that we have not yet won this fight. Okay, it was destroyed. It was destroyed. How we have not killed this stupid shrike yet. Please, just blast it. Even if you have to blow yourself up. Okay, it turns out he's blown himself up. Alright, maybe the strat here would have been to... Okay, gosh, I'm in a bit of trouble now. I can't, I can't, I can't issue any more commands. Uh, maybe we should just go on full retreat. 
because I don't know if we have enough weapons left on these ships. I could pilot this mule and try and blast that thing with missiles. Maybe that's the way we can get ourselves out of this hole. Because our shrike is probably going to be able to kill that. And this omen will definitely kill that. But if it'll make it home before that happens, I don't know. I don't know, man. And it's going to be a while. How, how long before our next command point? A minute and a half. That's a long time. Because this thing's on, like, literally one HP. Please, please, don't. I can't even cancel commands, so they're still trying to, like, auto-kill these things. That's why uh, exterminate commands are never a very good idea. Oh, uh, he's dead. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. These, unfortunately, these, uh, these mules are just too slow to really fight. Am I in control now? I'm in control now. Okay. Let's try and fight. Maneuvering jets, engage. We get a small speed boost for a second. Mule, my dude, I need you to f just shoot back, please. Oh, his, his main weapon's been knocked out, I see. Dude, just put your shield on. What are you doing? Buddy, I'm begging you. Just turn your fucking gun on. Okay, get me in here. Get me in here. There we go. Okay, that one's dead. I'm overloaded, though. He's got no missiles. We might be able to survive this. I just gotta rotate the damage to armored sections. There you go, shoot that armor for a bit. Then we rotate back this way. We back off, we back off. Okay, cool, cool. He's running, he's running. Hunt him down. Hunt him. Hunt him. We can kill him. I have faith. Uh, you know what? Maybe we just let him go. Unless that's the enemy captain. That might be the enemy captain. Okay, you need to retreat. You need to retreat. Your ass... How are, you, how are you still alive, dude? Fucking 1 HP? Uh, I think, you know what? I think we just claim victory here and avoid any further losses. Because half our fleet got blown up, but we did manage to kill that thing. Okay, I'm not picking up the broadswords. They're dead to me now. I will take I will take the eradicator, even though it should be dead to me at this point. I'll take the wolf, because we're going to need some more replacement ships. And we should actually have a look at what our buffs or debuffs are for our commission crew. Uh, just with what we're dealing with right now. So you can see it in the refit screen. Uh, our commission crew... Oh, it's not currently applied to this vessel. I have to manually apply it. That's right. That's right. I remember now. Okay, maybe maybe we hold off on applying it for a second then. Oh, it's so frustrating. Okay, this thing somehow survived. Your ass should definitely be grass. Oh, we can also level up our pilots. Probably should have done that a while ago. That's on me. Uh, definitely take some ballistic mastery. It's a very good skill. Uh, get some helmsmanship so you're more maneuverable. I think we're probably going to keep you as a fighter pilot, Kelly Ananas. Jack Smallman. Uh, get some get some ballistic mastery. Always a good skill. And then I want... No, 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 no. And then I want to... I've got two pilots with no ships because their ships got blown up. Why don't you get assigned to this, Jack? I think you'll be a pretty good contender. And uh, yeah, you're a pretty good one for the aggressive guy with impact mitigation. I forgot to assign him earlier. That's on me. Riley, Riley here could do some stuff. Riley could, Riley could move faster. That's going to be good. And get some combat endurance as well. All right, great. I mean, look, that was a really, really tough fight, but we did make it out. Uh, not all in one piece, admittedly, but out. Uh, I think we should pick up in impact mitigation. It's, it's, our ship is already a tank. This is going to make it even tankier. Plus, it, uh, we can boost it. To get 50% maneuverability for capital ships and cruisers, which is the which is the type of the class of ship we currently have. This is a cruiser. Um, I do believe it should show us somewhere here. Yeah, go. fast attack cruiser. It's right in the name. Perfect. Okay, that makes more sense. Yes, uh, that is that is <laughs> that is that is going to give us 50% maneuverability on top of the 50% that auxiliary thrusters gives. Of course, minus the 10% that heavy armor reduces. I thought it was 30%. It's only 10. Actually, not that bad. Uh, the next skill we're really going to want to push towards is going to be one of these resource reduction skills. Probably, you know, reduce some, uh, use some less, use less fuel. It's probably the next one. Because after that, we can pick up hull restoration, which lets us uh, randomly, from a random ship at a random time, remove hull mods. I think you can, I think it's one to two per month, which is pretty good. Uh, you can remove these D mods, not the whole mods, sorry, just the D mods, which means, I mean, so at first, sure, it'll it'll pick them up at random from these different ships, but it will start slowly wicking away 
the number of demods here. Now demods do come with one advantage, which is that your deployment cost for putting this ship into a battle is actually significantly lower than if you didn't have the demods. Uh, it reduces it by quite, I think it's like 10, maybe 15% per demod, like it adds up real quick. So you can have like a junk fleet. In fact, I think there is a skill called derelict contingent, I think a derelict operations. Deployment cost of ships reduced by 6% per demod, and a D-Hull deployment cost reduction also applies to the maintenance cost, meaning they're cheaper to run busted up ships. Which is, which is I suppose, a little bit counterintuitive, right? But I mean, that's an, it's, that adds up to like a 30% reduction if you've got five D-Mods, you know, which is, which is not an uncommon number to have if you're mostly funding your exploits through these kinds of battles. Oh shit, 30k? What am I paying? Oh, it's the Marines. Ouch. We also do have a- this was for last month, of course, this month will be at less because a lot of people died. <laughs> Like, a lot of people died. Um, oops. Can I, can I actually, do you think I can sneak into this base and buy some, uh, supplies and fuel off them? Because, oh, these repairs have been tough. Something's trying to attack us. It doesn't, it, it, it they're like threatening to attack and then running away. See that? Oof, I, I wish we had like a repair, a repair node. Repair module? I do not have a repair module. That sucks. I... I want to take on this station. I'm just not sure we can in the state we're currently in. Like, our ships are pretty freaking scuffed. Maybe the plan here... What else have we got going on in this? Although, it's just like, it's like right there, and it's 160,000, right? What else have we... Oh, there's another cluster of bounties over here. We have 100k for this pirate look base, 100k for this pirate base, and 72k for this dude. Oh, another eradicator. A. Where are you? Barren world in a black hole system. Okay, that's like the other side of the local sector. We do have we do have over a month left. We could pop into Arcadia, help out with their system bounty, and then from there go and do some bounties over there. Maybe that's the play. Maybe maybe we play it smart. We don't go after the Ludic Path on their home turf just yet. I think I'd like to have a couple more cruises just to just because that the station can really knock out our small ships really fast. All right, I think it's time we did a hyperwave jump. So let's just hyper warp jump. Sorry, we burnt a bunch of fuel there. It was a bit wasteful, but we did get a bunch of fuel back. Oh, hold on. These analyze missions can be really easy money if you manage to sort of get a few of them in the same area. Uh, what have I accepted for missions out of interest? Nothing. I have nothing currently running. Okay. We have a mission to survey a planet over here. It costs 30 supplies, 70k. That's that's pretty good money. We'll need 90 crew, 20 heavy machinery, 30 supplies. I think we have. We, we can we can pull that off, I'm sure. So after we finish fighting these things, we'll go over there and do that. And uh, maybe even by the time we've uh, cleaned up here in Arcadia, there'll be some more we can pick. Oh, there we go. Analyze supply cache. There's a few more missions. Nothing. Anything down here. There we go. This is, this is interesting. Okay, we've got a couple here. So you want me to survey a planet for 40 supply. I think that's possible. And we can grab a Domain Error Probe for 60. So that would be 140 right there. That's a little far. And that guy's a little far out as well. And they're actually within range of our other bounties. Yeah, there's actually quite a bit down here. Ah, damn, this one just this one just got withdrawn. Okay, but I want to I wanna take advantage of the system bounty first. The day is definitely the day of hunting. Uh, I'm being pursued. Oh, shit, I didn't turn on my transponder. Run! Run, men! Run! Run! They'll never catch me. They'll never catch me! Turn it off. Turn it off. Okay, they, they know they're looking for me now, but I, I will just go far away. Oh my god, there's a ship graveyard over here. Oh, is that, an, is that a capital ship? It is. There's two capital ships? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Boys. Boys. You know what's happening next. Okay. We've got to lose the, we got to lose the fuzz. Okay, give me a second. We're gonna we're gonna hide. We're gonna hide inside this asteroid belt briefly, and we're gonna slowly wiggle our way back. Does he know? He, okay, it's a mining fleet. They don't care. Okay, let's pop our heads out of the asteroid cloud. Oh my god, this is huge. Okay, okay. Come back down here. Oh, there's so much loot. A personal bounty over there for 200k, but he's got a capital ship. Well. We might be about to have one ourselves. All right, now in order to run a capital ship, it's not as simple as just picking it up and uh, 
and using it. We're going to need a lot of support ships to make it move. Uh, these freighters are probably going to be a good place to start. Yeah, you're a bit too damaged. We'll just strip you. Not for much, in fairness. Uh, a strict class frigate. You know what? I will take another frigate. Um, small ship doctrine? I'm, I'm on board. Uh, we can access the data banks of this ship. Interesting. And it is salvageable, but... With three D mods, what is its faction? So it's a KOC modded strike, which means that like each faction can apply their own benefits to these things. So it has a smaller sensor profile, and it has a lower recovery cost. But that's due to the the damage that's in, you know the, the D mods. Okay, so the biggest thing is it's it's kind of like a, it's like a sneaky boy. But I don't. I mean, I'm going to be picking up a capital ship, so we're not exactly going to be evading any radar. Our sensor profile is going to like quintuple. Uh, this is a Tempest-class frigate. The Tempest is a really, really good ship in Star Sector, but I'm going to pick it up. We have a phase cruiser, uh, which has some, some sensitive intel. Who do I want to make friends with? The Diabel Corporation or the Cater Remnant? I'm going to send it to the Cater Remnant. Uh, okay, they were already almost hostile with me, so that's good. Phase ships are great, but not if they're that damaged. They're, they're really, really high. They're really expensive to run. Okay, there we go. Ship recovery. This one's in fairly good nick. We're going to pick that up. That's going to expand our fuel reserve significantly. Let's check out this Shrike as well. This one's also in really good nick. We'll pick that up. Um, let's have a look at this Geist. So our Geisty friend here... Oh yeah, that's super busted. What are you? So we've got compromised armor, faulty automated systems. Again, you know, we can get the perk that will remove these over time. You can also just pay money to remove them. It's currently armed with a phase lance. It can take one medium energy, one large universal. That's pretty powerful for a... Oh, hold on. I think we should pick that up. It's going to it's gonna absolutely redline our... Oh my... And the, the super carrier is in a pretty good place. Hold on. Let's look at this thing's stats. Hull integrity of 10k is really low. Armor rating of 700 is nothing. Oh, it's an Atlas. An Atlas is like a... It's like a cargo ship that's been converted over. Cargo capacity of 2,000? Holy shit, maximum burn of 7 plus 1 because it's got militarized subsystems built in and which will give us so we could we could add the we could add the boosted engines to get it up to 9 and then our skill points will get it a further one. So we'll be at 10. This thing will be able to burn at full speed. I think we got to pick that up, right? Consider ship recovery, dude. Now, obviously we can't crew it right now, but that's 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 the that's the smallest of our problems. Okay, explore the oh, um, definitely extra measures to take that. Yep, we'll get we're gonna get an Odyssey. Absolutely, Fan phenomenal, phenomenal uh, capital class ship. They really are very good. What are the odds, dude? Randis, what's the text description there? Seemingly barren. Randis has been bombarded by meteors drawn into Sphinx's gravity well. Nothing remarkable. There must have just been a huge battle over there that. Uh, that was just, I guess they it was never scrapped. Oh, it's a wolf frigate. Don't really need a wolf anymore. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's a pirate one and it's kind of scuffed. The pirate ones tend to have better flux dissipation, but fewer ma um, weapon, or rather they'll have more weapon mounting points, but worse flux capacity and dissipation. I won't take a support destroyer, I'd rather take the supply. And uh, let's go and pick up some, oof, let's go pick up some crew. Yeah, where are you cheap? Okay, I'm going to need a lot of these. Okay, we're going to get over the minimum, which is 500 men, my god. Uh, our minimum crew is now 1,400, which is a lot. Uh, and then we're going to go up to Thracia. Or in the Asconia system, which is closer, we can get them for 24 credits per person. That's pretty low hiring. You kind of think of like a hiring fee. I'm going to dismiss the um, marines. We don't really need them anymore. And then I guess we'll buy, we'll get some, pick up some crew some, with some criminal records who don't want to be on the official ledgers. Yeah, that'll just get us just over the the minimum requirement, so we stop losing supplies just by like existing. Uh, I should I should take some more supply to fix the ships because they're gonna have to fit the space. We should absolutely take fuel wherever we can, and I'm honest, I'm just gonna buy this place out. It's a little more expensive to do it that way, but we don't have to think about it then. Uh, let's hold on. Is there a deficit? Yeah, there's a deficit here. I do want to pick up a few more pieces of heavy machinery. We could do a money run to top things up, but I think I'd rather hunt some more bounties. Uh, we can also sell the survey data we picked up off those ships. I mean, 30k. 
with a class 5 planet. That's like a super habitable planet, you know, it's really nice. Selling it to the black market will tell other factions where it is, and they might go colonize it, so we'll lose out. But we're, st we're still early on, you know, I can't, I can't reasonably, because uh, I can't defend a planet, even if we get one now. But, but, at the moment, it's looking like maybe that will change. Okay, I don't want to sell this here. This is like the one place in the universe that has a surplus of ship components and metals. So we're going to sell that somewhere else in system. And now, I guess what we really want to do is go to our refit screen. And we want to scroll down to our Odyssey. Oh my god, okay, let's start here. So we got a point defense built in. This thing's got a couple lasers it can mount. Yeah, we'll give it another point, another another IR pulse laser. You know what, actually, I want you doing um, ion damage. I want you knocking out weapons and shields. Gonna use you as a support ship. All right, so integrated point defense AI is great. Uh, flux shunt is good. I'd rather have you as a, as a support ship. I want you with the salamander. This is the missile that knocks out engines. Uh, we'll auto assign your weapon cost. Just get you some more capacitors. Actually, you know what? You know what? That that uh, that rear looks a little vulnerable. Let's give you an insulated engine assembly, and uh, let's make you move a little faster as well. It will reduce range, but that's okay. All right, for this thing, I'm going to strip it, and I'm going to simply just add auxiliary fuel tanks and an augmented drive field. And we're going to say that's good enough. You have shielded cargo holds, which is pretty cool. Which means that we can put contraband in here and uh, sensors from enemy won't find it. That's pretty good. This doesn't actually, this isn't actually able to reach behind you. But I will give you a couple of Vulcan cannons on the back, I guess. Just to, just to shoot down some missiles, maybe. Maybe we get lucky. Alright, we have Graviton Pulse Cannon here. I'll leave that on. I don't know what it is. It sounds cool. Give you a Reaper. Uh, what else? We got some Harpoons. I'll give you a Reaper. We could also stick another weapon in that slot. Maybe... I think I think it's better as a fast attack cruiser like this. I don't know, we'll, we can come back to it. Uh, let's definitely give you a light assault gun. You can do some damage. We'll give you a couple of IR pulse lasers. And yeah, you can have a light machine gun on the back. That looks good to me. I d oh, you've got insulated engine assembly built in. Ah, okay. That's what the good thing about the KOC. Cool. That's a really good feature. I'm a huge fan of it. It increases your health strength by, I think it's like 10%. Yeah, it's 10%. And it reduces the chance of your engines getting knocked out, which is so frustrating. Yeah, let's make you move a lot faster. And I want you to be like a fast attack, close in kind of guy. There we go. Get that flux dissipation nice and high. Make sure those auto always auto sign your weapon groups. Otherwise, things get a little bit weird. Yeah, we have a large universal hardpoint, and right now the only thing I can actually buy is a Mark... I, I own a Mark 9, and I could I could install a Mark 10 autocannon. What's the difference? Range of 900. Range of 900. This shoots two shots of 200 damage each. This shoots four shots of 200 damage each. But this has an overall higher DPS. What is the difference? This can provide limited screening against fighters... This one has like a, a round that detonates. What's the projectile speed on this? That's not clear. Maybe it shoots faster. Is there like a rate of fire stat? A refire delay. There we go. 0. 0.8. 2.3. Okay, so this thing just shoots a hell of a lot faster. Yeah, let's put that on there. It's a shield buster. It's not really suited to this position, but that's okay. Um, then if we're busting shields, I want some missiles to knock them out for good. And I'm thinking a couple of Reaper torpedoes right on the tip are going to do just that. The Phase Lance here is an amazing weapon. It does obscene damage, uh, but only if it gets through shields. You need to have a shield knockout, so this is a pretty good thing to have. You, I think we need some point defense on this bad boy, to be completely honest with you. And then we'll put some PD lasers on the rear. Okay, this thing's going to be a fast strike cruiser. Going to get in, blow up the enemy, get the hell out. Great. I want to give you... I could do expanded missile racks will give us two more shots. I think I'd rather get insulated engine assembly. Standard at this point. I'd rather that you move faster even if you don't have the same range. And I'd really like to armor you up a bit, I think. Yeah. I think that's the play. We can drop a couple points here. So that we can put down armored weapon mounts. Because I really don't want those PD lasers getting knocked out. It happens quite often with phase ships. And then they're in big trouble. Okay, cool. That guy looks pretty damn good. Now we get on to the real stuff. Okay, so we got some pulse drones already already in the slot. Pulse drones are nice for one reason, is that you don't have to crew them. That's the big thing here. So we don't lose any fighter, we don't lose any crew members every time they're released. It has an IR pulse laser, which is the same weapon we've attached here. 
Uh, so that's going to do roughly 50 damage, and it fires about 3 times per second. So about 150 damage per second. If we can swarm an enemy with these, that might do it. This will use an X-Pulse laser, which is a slightly more powerful version of the same. These are trash. You shouldn't use them. It's very low ordnance cost, which means maybe we can... Uh, maybe we just go for mass here, right? Like sheer volume. Or we can get a variety of... I'm just going to go for sheer freaking cheap, cheap volume. And we can, we can change this out as time goes on. That looks good to me. All right, we need to... We got a PD laser there. That's good. We want point defense here. We're going to need some point defense elsewhere, of course, as well. I'm thinking, I'm thinking some light machine guns all around. If this thing gets shot, it's dead. So it's going to be really good. Uh, what is actually the engagement range? 2,000 meters is the engagement range for these drones. That's actually fine. That's actually fine. All right. Uh, I want you to have several boosts. Let's get expanded deck crew, which um, increases the rate at which it replaces destroyed fighters. We're going to lose a lot of these things. Definitely insulated engine assembly. Recovery shuttles... Uh, Reduces losses of pilots. Well, we don't have any pilots, so we don't need that. This thing is comically slow. Um, I would try to get, like, turning and stuff, but I don't think that matters. If, if this thing gets caught, it's dead. So, instead, let's slap on some expanded cargo holds. I think we're going to use this thing as a freighter, first and foremost. And then, if it gets caught out of position, we can try and use it. Also, let's add commission crews. I'm not sure why that's not working on these ships. I might need to set up a set. Maybe I've, I've changed the setting somewhere. Uh, and let's get advanced turret gyros. I want those... I want those bad boys pointing at the missiles coming in a whole lot faster. Okay, cool. We could build in some upgrades. I'm going to leave it. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm mistaken. We absolutely need... We have to have this. This, 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 this. Where is it? The augmented drive field. That's the one. Um, we're going to have to drop insulated engine assembly to get this as well. 40 ordnance points. Obscene. Okay, I think we're going to have to build that in. Otherwise, this thing's going to be just dead in the water. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's definitely worth doing. So give me the deck crew. Give me the insulated engine assembly. Give me the turret. Ah, uh, you know what? I think a sensor suite might be the way. Yeah, forget the cargo holds. Actually, no, forget the engine assembly. Give me a sensor suite. This is going to make surveying so much cheaper. All right, perfect. Perfect. That That's a pretty... You know what? That's a good support ship. This is not going to be going out into frontline battle. If if something if it does, something's gone wrong. All right, now we don't really have any good fighters here, so I don't really want to buy any of this. But what have we got on this bad boy? He's got uh, a couple weapons equipped. I'm just going to strip it clean, and we're going to start from the beginning. Okay, so you got some built-in heavy burst lasers. You got built-in engine assembly and integrated point defense AI. That's really good. That means any weapons we put on here can function both as point defense and as attack. All right, so let's put a we'll put a, a light assault gun right on the tip. Uh, the, the the Odyssey is an interesting ship because it's sort of um, asymmetrical. You end up with uh, you end up sort of broadsiding your enemy. You're kind of sort of trying to stick yourself between two of them. So let's start off here with some more point defense. I think. Uh, do I actually want any of these large weapons? I have an Hephaestus ass assault gun, which we could pair with an anti shield weapon. Yeah, we could just, you know, we could buy a few more of these Mark 10 auto cannons. That could be cool. Slap those on there. We could put down these all hybrid. I'd rather have laser weapons for point defense. They're much better. Because the, the, the range on these machine guns just really isn't that good. Because we could slap a long range PD there for now. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go check. Let's go let's fly this a little bit further. And uh, do I have enough crew to keep everybody happy? I have to comply. Oh my god, he freaking he searched my Atlas supercarrier, losing it 15% of its uh oh, so annoying. 15% of its combat readiness, which is gonna cost a fortune to replenish because it's such a big ship. Yep, 14 supplies just on that search alone. Ouch, ouch, my everything, ouch. Uh we'll sell off all these surplus metals. Okay. Now back to the refit. Have you got better sh yeah, you got you got more variety. It's still trash. Although, Kopesh Rocket Bombers are actually not bad. I'll pick them up for... How, how much do those cost? 8,000 credits each. Ouch. I'll pick them up for now. This thing's got plenty of point defense. I don't need interceptors here. All right, what have you got for me? You got some IR Pulse lasers. Reminder, again, that we don't actually need to use point defense weapons in these slots. We can just put, like, weapons. Because the point defense, you know, is kind of built in. Part of the, part of the design. 
Alright, so that's all my IR lasers placed down. There's another one. X-Pulse laser there. You can have uh, an anti-shield spray. I, I kind of want stuff that does a lot of damage, just to like knock out point defense, right? There's another IR laser. Yeah, we'll use we'll use infrared lasers, I guess, as our uh, point defense, because they shoot quickly. You know what? Uh, mining lasers actually are not bad as point defense. They do decent damage relative to their cost. But, but... I think for the for the engines here, we've got engine engine assembly, so we don't have to worry too much about it getting knocked out. I think we're gonna slap on some heavy machine guns right over there. Oh, sorry, dual machine guns. All right, you can take a. We don't have to fill every ordnance slot, of course. This is not necessary, but it is fun. Now let's put uh, let's put a couple more of these. Put some ant. I really like light assault guns. They are so versatile. We got really good point defense just built into the framework here, so that's free. Oh man, this thing is going to be hard to kill. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's grab... We can get a Hurricane MIRV launcher. This is like a... It's like a ship killer, right? It's like after you've disabled a ship, you shoot this at it, and it hits them with missiles from all sides. And this one is an EMP striker, so it can knock out uh, stuff that they have. Well, great, 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 great wording. I think I'm going to use these Mark X autocannons, and then we're going to slap on... Uh, missile. Missiles are nice because they don't cost any flux to fire. Because yeah, our flux usage right now is very high. All right, we're going to build in some of the larger stuff here. Uh, the big one I'm actually worried about is what is this thing... I don't want to restore it, sorry. What is this thing's top speed? Okay, yeah, we're going to need some more crew, clearly, as well. What is this thing's top speed? It is... Da -da 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 -da, drum roll, please. Eight. That's pretty good. We probably don't need to... Yeah, because some of these ships are not going to be able to burn fast. Well, actually, what is our maximum burn right now? Eight is the faster ship. So if we gave these two ships, this one and this one, the burn drive, we could actually move it 10. I don't think there's any nines in here. And any nines we have will be automatically higher because of the skills we have. Like like these, uh, these, these mules, I know it says nine on their maximum burn, but they're actually able to burn at 10 because we've got a skill that gives everybody a plus one burn speed buff. So let's spend some let's spend some ordnance points here, man. Let's spend some story points rather. Uh, let's put the augmented drive field in here. Are you not accept? Uh, yes, you are. There you are. I'm gonna build that schniz right in. And I want to save another spot in here for something called a phase anchor at some point. It's uh really good. Okay, let's, and again, let's make you move a little faster. I think that's a good idea. No, 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 no. Get the get the get the thing. Where, where, oh, it's, it's a scroll bar now. Wow, I've never, I've never uh, had that many D mods or mods on a thing. That's incredible. Uh, and then you, you, you're going to take. We want to build in the heavy armor for Shizzle. Absolutely, because it's so expensive to run ordnance point wise. And I think we want to build in some expanded missile racks or reinforced bulkheads, which uh, would give us four thousand additional hull points. Or we could build in some serving equipment and say, hey, you know what? This is going to be like our, our all-rounder guy. No, I think I'm going to build in the missile racks. Yeah. 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 That way that way we were incentivized to run a missile here, which I think is a good idea. These, these kind of ships really, they, they function best when you've got like, uh, like you let the ship do the shooting and you just control the missiles. So this is this is my new flagship. This is going to be the, uh, oh, well, uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, you know, why not? Yeah. This can be the barber ship, the barber ship three. Okay, the Barber Ship 3 is now in service. Uh, we've built in expanded missile racks and heavy armor, saving us 70 flux points, which of course means we can dump 50, straight up 50 into vents. You cannot give capital ships uh, survey o uh, safety overrides, unfortunately, which would, you know, give us 50% more flux reduction. So instead, we could slap on a flux distributor. Gets us closer, but still not quite there. I think a more useful, actually, I think it would be more useful for us to just reduce the amount of fire or just keep range. We could just increase the range, dedicated targeting core. That gives us 50% additional range. Not the best version of that kind of mod, but it is pretty good. Uh, we could go with expanded deck crew. I'm not too worried about the fighters. I think, honestly, I think I really want to get some surveying equipment. This is going to make surveying planets basically free. Because we're going to have the maximum possible bonus. And then give me some advanced turret gyros. I want them boys turning quick. Yeah. Yeah. And then just take some flux capacity. Okay. Okay. This is going to be... One hell of a nightmare to go up against for our enemies. That's just how I want it. 
So now we can try and take on... Okay, this is actually... This is straight up going to sit... I know it's pretty cool, but we're going to treat it as like a, a ship of the rear. Not a ship of the line, that one. Uh, and you probably want a pilot. I think it's time that we say, you know what? We've... Uh, society has moved past the need for um, fighter drones. I think we can probably go ahead and sell the one with five demods attached to it. Get out of here. Uh, and you... You were pretty good. You're actually like a whole thing. I'm going to I'm going to strip and scuttle this uh, this drone because it is trash and it just keeps dying, and we're just spending money on it. We can't sell it because it's illegal, but we'll get some supplies back. Uh, it was free, no crew, which is nice, but that's that's about the only advantage. Then these ships are not that good. Uh, realistically, we should move you from this position up to here give you uh, something bigger, something meatier to work with. All right, then all my captains up top, except this little this little guy, we'll put him over. I'm gonna leave him in there. This is actually a pretty, a pretty tough little ship. Works well. All right, I am probably going to need some support ships. 5,000 fuels a lot, but you'd be surprised how quickly we'll go through that with a fleet this size. Uh, what we really need actually is more of you. Okay, cool, we are now over the, the crew limit. This is gonna cost a fortune for us to run. So we need to get some, we need to get some more money coming in. Oh, 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 they are chasing me. Run, 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 run. They are marginally faster. Run, turn off the transponder. Go behind the asteroid belt. Dip out of, because we bought so much stuff from the black market. They're pissed off. Okay, grande. Let's go kill some stuff. We can, we can take on literally anything now. What an upgrade. Wow. Okay, but that actually took a lot of time, a lot more than I was expecting to. And I think it's cool that we actually had a bit of time exploring the ship upgrade system. So uh, we're going to go hunt down some pirate bases in the next episode. We're probably going to walk out a millionaire by the end of it. I want to kill every single base on this list, uh, starting with you, because you run out the soonest. 106 days, 41 days, 14 days. How much is that worth? 72k? <whistles> That's pretty good. Maybe we start over here, actually. Yeah, black hole system. You know what? Get me down there. Get me down there. Frick you, dude. We're gonna we're gonna kill all of this. Everything you see. We're gonna kill everything next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a lot of fun. This has been Star Sector and me and our capital ship led fleet. Wow, that was pretty quick, huh? We'll see you in the next one. Cheers. And of course, a huge thank you to our channel members and patrons for this month. Kelly Ananas, Colby Bow82, Old Man Tater, Frickin' Friendly Beaver, Knee Cruncher, Riley David, Badass Beast, Pratt and Perush, Rivo, Charlie Weber, Mermix, Officer C4, Not K Author, Adachi Fanboy, Couch Potato, Rob, LCG Canyon Sahar, Jack Smallman, Cut Beef Go Ham, I'm Alpha, The Senate, Richard Berry, Ragnar, Skull Crew, and Depoyo44. You guys rock.